How's the fit looking? You ready? Alright, All right, welcome back to another video, guys. Let's talk about Ada Vista. Ada, Ada Vista, is that how you say it? Um, the new album by Childish Gambino that came out this morning. I'm on like my second listen today, and so far, so good. I think it was like a good album, good listening experience, and I felt like everything about it was great, like the, the mixing, the mastering, and definitely the production, like the beat was really good as well. I can't speak to how good it was lyrically, because I don't really listen to, I don't really like pay attention to the lyrics like that. I, if it sounds good, it's kind of good to me, so that's basically it. And uh, this just really reinforces like my, the reason why he's in my top five like best artists list is because he's just a multi-talented artist. He's like, he produces, his own stuff. I don't know if people knew that. Uh, he sings, he raps, and then he acts, and then he directs, and then he writes for TV shows. And I know that doesn't have to do with music, but it just reinforces why he's in my top five because of the respect that I have of him from other areas. And um, so yeah, basically I went into the album like very fresh. I hadn't listened to Out of Vista is basically like the the finished version of 3.15.20, the album that he dropped in 2020. And I went into the album really fresh because I hadn't listened to that album in full. I only heard the one with 21 Savage and then some snippets here and there from this album right now. And going into it fresh was like, you know, it sounded really new because I hadn't heard these songs from him before. So I guess I liked it more that way because I wasn't bored of it or I hadn't listened to it before. And seeing as it was like 15 minutes long, time honestly flew by. It didn't feel like 15 minutes long. It felt like a short album kind of. And like, again, just the experience listening to it. So um, it was really different like that. And like I said, I can't speak on it lyrically, but as far as like sound goes, sonically speaking, this was like an S tier album. The production was like crazy on it. And uh, yeah, I think people that like consider Childish Gambino as like a top tier producer in the game, hip hop or rap or music industry in general, because uh, a lot of the beats like were very different and he's versatile, as you can see from his old previous work. So he's really good. And yeah, so my favorite tracks were, I can't even pronounce it, I have to pull it up. Algorithm, Algorithm was sick. Uh, I don't know, it sounded like Kanye, it reminds me of Kanye and then his 2013 album. And it reminds me of like the latest snippet that I heard with uh, Childish Gambino and Kanye, Kanye on the same song. And then the next one was Silo Saibe, Millennial Love, with 20, uh, 21 Savage. I already heard that before and it's still just as good as I heard it. Um, I think there were like some minor changes to the production, I think, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that also sounded really good. And then To Be Hunted was really nice. And then Little Foot, Big Foot was also really nice. Uh, I like the like, what's the, what's the word? Like the really jumpy rhythm to the song. And then Why Go To The Party, even though that was like 41 seconds, but I do wish it was longer. And then um, Human Sacrifice was also really good. I, I heard like a little bit of that before listening to the album. So my hopes were like already high for that song. And then The Violence and then finally Final Church. So these songs are not like songs that were just good. They're like songs that I really enjoyed and were great. And then the rest of it was like good. So you can definitely listen to this album. It's like an 8.5 to like a 9 out of 10 for me personally. And um yeah, no, this is the second last album of Childish Gambino. He's still dropping one more. I think in, yeah, he said like uh, in summer, I'm pretty sure. It's called Bando Stone in the New World. And uh, I was a little bit disappointed with Adavisa because I thought it was going to include the track that I heard with Kanye, uh, Say Less. I think it's the name. And then, but it wasn't there. So I'm assuming it's going to be on his new album or his final one dropping uh, in summer. But at the same time, it's also going to serve as a soundtrack for a movie, and I really doubt any production company is going to have Kanye be on their soundtrack. But um, it doesn't really seem likely, but I'm looking forward to it. And finally, if there was like one last thing I could actually want to see, this is going to be like absurd, but like a Frank Ocean collab will be crazy, and then a Tyler, the creator collab, which doesn't seem as crazy. But um, yeah, definitely. But yeah, that's about it. Leave a comment down below what you thought. Peace.